Thursday the 22nd of June, 2023. First reading. Reading from the second book of Maccabees. Eliza, one of the foremost teachers of the law, a man already advanced in years and of most noble appearance, was being forced to open his mouth wide to swallow pig's flesh. Those in charge of the impious banquet, because of their long-standing friendship with him, took him aside and privately urged him to have meat brought of a kind he could properly use. Prepared by himself, and only pretend to eat the portions of sacrificial meat as prescribed by the king. Such pretense, he said, does not square with our time of life. Many young people would suppose that Eliza, at the age of 90, had conformed to the foreigner's way of life and because I had played this part for the sake of a paltry brief spell of life might themselves be led astray on my account. I should only bring defilement and disgrace on my old age. Even though for the moment I avoid execution by man, I can never, living or dead, elude the grasp of the Almighty. Therefore if I am man enough to quit this life here and now I shall prove myself worthy of my old age, and I shall have left the young and noble example of how to make a good death, eagerly and generously for the venerable and holy laws with these words he went straight to the block his escorts so recently well disposed towards him turned against him after this declaration which they regarded as sheer madness just before he died under the blows he groaned aloud and said the lord whose knowledge is holy sees clearly that though i might have escaped death Whatever agonies of body I now endure under this bludgeoning, in my soul I am glad to suffer because of the awe which he inspires in me. This was how he died, leaving his death as an example of nobility and a record of virtue not only for the young but for the great majority of the nation. Responsorial Psalm Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In the justice, set me free. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. You who have seen my affliction and taken heed of my soul's distress have not handed me over to the enemy, but set my feet at large. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. All who hope in the Lord. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Happy the man who stands firm when trials come. He has proved himself and will win the crown of life. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care that no one deceives you, because many will come using my name and saying, I am the Christ, and they will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Do not be alarmed, for this is something that must happen, but the end will not be yet. For nation will fight against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes here and there. All this is only the beginning of the birth pangs. Then they will hand you over to be tortured and put to death, and you will be hated by all the nations on account of my name and then many will fall away. Men will betray one another and hate one another. Many false prophets will arise. They will deceive many, and with the increase of lawlessness, love in most men will grow cold. But the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>